and you know what that means. That's right, it's time for yet another edition of Sip and Snack, and I thought I was done, but apparently I'm not, because on May 29th of 2020, over two years ago, I actually did a video based on an unboxing, an unboxing from a childhood favorite of mine, Dunkaroos. Well, somewhere along the way, Dunkaroos decided it wanted to expand. Technically speaking, Dunkaroos didn't expand into stores like I thought it would. It stayed in 7-Eleven, and 7-Eleven, thanks to uh, the impulsive buy website again, made me fully aware that there was a brand new flavor that I would totally appreciate and totally enjoy, one of my absolute favorite flavors that exists of anything, and while I was there, you know, I decided to go and pick up the other variant as well. I think the only thing missing at this point is the fact they're still vanilla cookies, which sucks. But I mean, I like the frosting that they're choosing. The thing that they're missing right now is peanut butter. I'd like them to go back to the graham cookies instead of the vanilla cookies. The vanilla cookies are very bland. And or maybe the chocolate chip cookies that they used to have back in the day. But that aside, Dunkaroos kind of remind me a little bit of the cake dips or the buttercream dips at Gideon's and almost in the same format as well, the little tiny tubs of frosting and they're to complement the cookies. Well, I found the first one, which is chocolate. So they're still vanilla cookies, but it's chocolate frosting. 180 calories in this container here. Serving size, the one tray is Total fat, 7 grams. Saturated fat, 3.5 grams. Tr no transitional fat, no cholesterol. 115 milligrams of sodium. 27 total carbohydrates. And that's 27 grams, mind you. Dietary fiber, less than a gram. Total sugars is 16 grams. Added sugars is 16 grams. There's 1 gram of protein and there's 1 milligram of iron. Not a significant source of vitamin D, calcium, and potassium. So yeah, uh, contains soy and wheat, may contain milk. Um, so yeah, we're going to try it and see what it tastes like. I'm guessing the cookies will be the same, but I have a feeling, a very good feeling, feeling I know that yeah, the cookies are the same, still the same tiny, tiny, very bland vanilla cookies with a D on them. But if you reveal the entire thing, you've got chocolate frosting so yeah we're gonna go ahead and peel that off this is the chocolate frosting looks like chocolate fudge basically i'm going to try it and see what it tastes like as a chocolate fudge mm. oh so good kind of reminds me of like hot fudge fantastic That was something I kind of forgot about, and I just left it to the side. An impulsive buy, like I mentioned before, made me realize there was another flavor. My absolute favorite, all time, without any doubt, when it comes to ice cream, has always been orange sherbet. Or when I was a kid, I called it orange charbet, because I made it sound all fancy-like. Not fancy like that horrible Walker Hayes. But fancy-like, as in the right way, the good way. The orange sherbet way, and Dunkaroos decided they wanted to go with that orange sherbet variant. Now, again, we still have the generic vanilla cookies, but now we have orange sherbet frosting, which sounds fantastic. Go through nutritional facts as we always do 180 calories, 7 grams of total fat, and 3 grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, no cholesterol, 100 milligrams of sodium, 30 grams of total carbohydrates, and no dietary fibers, 18 grams of total sugars. 17 grams of added sugars, one gram of protein, and it also has iron, which says 2% daily value, but that's all it says, not a significant source of vitamin D, calcium, or potassium. And of course, it's wheat and soy, may contain milk. So yeah, I'm going to uh, see what it looks like. I'm positive, absolutely positive. This is just gonna be the same vanilla cookies. And it is, generic vanilla cookies. But, here's the fun part. No, that's not cheese. Oh no, that's orange sherbet. And that looks fantastic. We're going to try it and see what it tastes like. Oh, get a little bit of that. Nice drip ski there. Mmm. Oh, 
Orange sherbet frosting. Interesting. Never thought it'd be something I'd ask for, but yeah. I'm gonna try to see if I can show you these. I'm gonna try to make it so it doesn't fall over. That's your sip and snack for today. Uh, more sip and snacks still to come. More Voices of Liberty still to come. More content coming on the network. So uh, that being said, I want to thank you guys and girls out there for watching. And until tomorrow, boys and girls, that's all I got to say about that.